Hi team, in this video, we're gonna be building a personal budget. I've received quite a few emails this year, it being 2020, with a lot of people wondering what happened, wanting to take a closer look at their personal finances. So I thought this would be a worthwhile tutorial. And just before we start building, basically what this workbook does is take bank account information and then organize it by category and month. And we have further separated the categories into sources of cash and uses of cash so that you can then evaluate how profitable you are in each month. So this can be useful if you're contemplating a new job or contemplating additional expenses. All right, with that said, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is copy our bank account information. This would normally be downloaded online, but obviously this is all fictional data for the purpose of this exercise. Otherwise, we will be working from scratch and nothing else will pull from this workbook. So press Control C and we'll tab over to our new workbook and press Control V. Press Alt H O I to adjust the columns for proper width. And then we'll add some titles above. Press Alt H H to change the background. Control B to make the text bold. Then you can use Alt H O I to adjust the width. F4 to repeat the action. And now we have our data, but we need ways to pull this data into the other worksheet. So we're gonna add a few more columns. First, we need to find the month end for each post date. So enter end of month, select the post date, and enter zero for months. Press enter. And we will quickly format this with control one. Select date and press enter. Next, we'll use the concat function to create a unique identifier. This will be explained in greater detail momentarily. But for now, select the category and the month end. Close print, press enter. And to adjust the column, you can press Alt H O W, enter 20. And now we can read the entry properly. And next we have ABS, which stands for absolute value. In this instance, all amounts are positive, but when you're downloading data, it can come as either negative or positive, depending on what system it's pulling from. The ABS formula, which returns the absolute value, is an easy way to correct for this issue. Next, we'll paste this all the way down, and I'm inputting a zero here, so that when I select the first row, and press Control D, to paste down, the selection only travels down to the zero. Here again, press Alt H O W for formatting and put 15. And that gives us plenty of space to see the date. So now we have our bank account data and we can change the tab name with Alt H O R. Press enter and press Alt H I S to insert a new worksheet. And again, Alt H O R to rename it budget. And now we can get to work on our 12 month budget. Okay, so now we have our template to work with. And what we need to be absolutely certain of is that each category listed in column B is included as either a source of cash or a use of cash. 
To create a list of all these items, let's use shortcut Alt H O M to create a copy of this worksheet. Move to end and press enter. Next, press control spacebar and select all the other data and press Alt E D to delete it. Next, select data and then click on remove duplicates. Select OK, and Excel will tell us that 103 duplicate values were found and removed, and that only 14 unique values remain. To organize this alphabetically, you can press Alt-A-T. Click on this arrow and sort A to Z. And this will be the list we use for data validation. So next we will tab back over to the budget worksheet. Select our input cells under sources of cash. Select data in the ribbon. And finally data validation. And under validation criteria, we want to allow a list. Select source. Next we'll go back to the data validation tab. Select all of our categories and press enter. And with this array selected, press Control C and then Control V under Uses of Cache. And now we've applied the same data validation rules to the inputs under Uses of Cache. And to demonstrate how this works, now you can just click on this drop down menu and select the appropriate item. Now, this is important because the formulas we're about to write will not work if there are any typos. And to demonstrate, we'll write the first formula. So input equal sum if, and then tab over to the worksheet bank account with control page down, and select all of column G with control spacebar, and then anchor this reference with F4. So now our range is the unique identifier we created with the concat function. Next, we have to input the criteria. And we will do that back on the worksheet titled budget with the concat function. So what we're doing here is creating the same unique identifier and nesting it within the sumif function. So first we want to reference our category, which is in cell B11. And next we want to reference the date, which is in cell D6. And notice that for the category, I anchored the column and for the date, I anchored the row. Close print, comma, and now we want to reference our sum range. So go back to the tab titled bank account. And this time we're going to reference column H. Control spacebar to select the entire thing. F4 to anchor the reference. Close print. And you'll see that for the month of January, the formula returns $6,600 for your salary. Next, we want to paste this across with Control R and paste it down with Control D. And to improve the formatting, press Control-1. And we'll select Accounting, but get rid of the symbol. Next, press Control-C. And we can paste the same formula for uses of cash below. After that, we can fill in a few of these additional formulas. And off to the side, we have the total for the 12 months. And next to that, the average. Highlight both and paste them down with Control D. Press Control C. And we'll paste these formulas below as well. And next we need our totals. Paste across with Control R. And use Control C and Control V for the columns labeled 12 months and monthly average. And then we'll once again paste these formulas below. And for profit loss, we just want to take the difference. 
So select total sources and subtract total uses. Paste that across with control R. And now we have a working template. And the only thing left to do is to input the categories. And frankly, that's the easy part. Once we have all our sources listed, hit Alt-HOI to expand the column. And then we can move on to uses of cache. Alien abduction insurance may seem like a weird choice, but it was 2020. Last thing, this worksheet contains a lot of data aggregated from a separate worksheet. So we need a quick check to make sure that everything was done correctly. So use control and page down to tab over to the tab titled bank account. And then we'll go to column E and select all items under amount. And note that the sum of this column is equal to 138,118. With that number in mind, we can tab back over to budget, select total sources, and while holding the control button, select total uses. And below you will note that this is also equal to 138,118. And those two sums being equal can give you the confidence that everything in this worksheet accurately pulls from the prior worksheet. If you're doing this yourself and find that these numbers don't match up, it's likely you omitted a category or have a misspelling in one of your categories. All right, team, and that's it. That's how you build a personal budget very quickly. I hope you found it useful, and that's all for now.